Hey, hey, what's up everybody? Mr. B here with Montezuma Martial Arts Academy out of Dolores, Colorado. So today we're talking about new stances that we need. Um, in our style, these are the stances that we use to progress from our yellow to our orange belt. So you just got your first rank, you're all excited. A couple of new requirements for you to be able to handle. So let's just go ahead and jump right in. Uh, from right here, we're gonna start in our right guard stance, okay? Now, our front twist stance is simple enough. Basically, all we're gonna do is we're just gonna step our left foot forward, okay? Now, the big thing that I'm looking at is I'm looking for my toes to go from straight to, I wanna turn them on a 90, okay, to my left side. So from here, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna to start to put a fair amount of weight on it, and I want to bend my knee. My back knee should go right about into the middle of my calf here, and then, my back heel should come up off the ground. Now, the big thing that I wanna focus on is still maintaining a good guard. What happens to a lot of us when we do our front twist stance or our rear crossover is we like to let these hands kind of fade back, all right? So we wanna keep them engaged with our opponent. So again, right foot, toes don't do anything. Toes pointed straight ahead. From here, again, I'm gonna go ahead and turn my left foot on a 90 so that I am kind of looking like I gotta go to the bathroom, but I wanna spread my feet just a little bit more than that. And again, I'm looking to rest my right knee on my left calf, hands up and engage. Now, let's go ahead and show you from this side right here. So here I'm in my left guard stance, my right foot, again, popping on that 90, and then I'm just gonna settle right into that stance. All right, easy, easy peasy. We call it a front twist stance because we're stepping on our front side. The next stance is the inverse or the opposite, which is the rear crossover. So same thing, my front foot isn't gonna do much of anything other than kind of take more of a 90 degree angle turn. And then I'm gonna go ahead and step on the ball of my left foot. Again, trying to keep my hands engaged here. So trying to just act. Boom, so from here, right foot turns on a 90. So if I'm in a good guard stance here, I've got a little bit of a 45 degree angle on my toe heel line. Then I'm gonna go ahead and turn for support. Left heel comes up and again, I'm looking for my left knee to sit right on the middle of my right calf. And then again, keeping my hands engaged, trying to avoid this hand fake here. Now, what we do for footwork is we work on advancing with the front twist stance and retreating with the rear crossover. Now, advance is just a fancy way of saying I'm gonna, I'm gonna move forward. So when I'm here, when I advance, I'm looking for a step and then through to your guard. When I retreat with my rear crossover, okay, all I'm doing is just stepping back, hitting that rear crossover, and then back in that guard again. So one more time, advance with the front twist, Pause in your stance for just a second, hit it. Take the time to hold here for a split second before you move back into your guard. A lot of people wanna do this just really fast, okay? No, I want you to actually feel the weight and get a little burn as you step through into your front twist here into your guard and then retreating once again, really focusing on this hip mobility and getting a little bit of burn in those quads as you step through. Let's show you here from the side. So I advance with my front twist, boom, and then I retreat with my rear crossover. Now, as we get more and more advanced, we're gonna be able to retreat with our front twist stance and advance with our rear crossover as well. But when we're just in our beginner ranks, we're just trying to keep things pretty sweet and simple and easy to understand. Anyway, guys, if you have any questions, please make sure that you're liking, subscribing, and commenting down below. Don't hesitate to bring me any questions. Give me some ideas about what you're struggling with or what you really want to learn and see broken down. Anyway, guys, we'll see you in class. Awesome.